Hi, in this video we will learn a new method to solve systems of linear equations whose coefficient matrix is an invertible matrix. This method is called method of inverses and it uses the inverse of the matrix to solve the, uh, the given system of linear equations. So recall that um, for any uh, system, so um, we have matrix four, there's A X equals to B. And we saw that writing this in this form has a very nice um, uh, benefit that we can kind of uh, see resemblance between this and very easy equation like 2x equals to 1. How is this a uh, nice thing? Uh, because you see to solve this equation 2x plus 1, what we did was we multiplied both sides of x by the inverse of the coefficient and then a half times 2, we know this is 1. So we have 1 times x is equal to half. Well, that means that x is equal to half. Yeah. So what this means is that if you multiply both sides of the inver uh, both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the variable, you have solved the system. Oh well, the equation here. Now we are mimicking exactly the same steps. The coefficient here is not a number, but a matrix. So if A is invertible, because we know there are matrices which doesn't have any inverse, but if A is invertible, then we can multiply both sides by the inverse of the coefficient matrix. And then we have this thing. And we know that A inverse times A is identity. And this means that X is equal to A inverse times B. This way, we have a method to solve a system of linear equations. It's called the method of uh, inverses. So the uh, in the method of inverses we first so let me write first uh, write the system in its matrix form ax equals to b then uh, we find the inverse of the coefficient matrix, which will A inverse. Then, if that exists, then the system has, has unique solution given by a inverse times the constant uh, right hand side co uh, uh, matrix that would be our unique solution well for example if example If I have a system, so um, use the method of inverses to solve the system um, 2x plus 3y equals to 1. And then x plus 2y is equal to 0. Yeah. Okay, so first thing first, write it in 
in the matrix form. Well, matrix form the coefficient matrix times the variable part equals to the constant side. Okay. Now we have to find the inverse of of the coefficient matrix. So this is this guy. How do we find it? Well, if someone gives you or you just do the method we just learned. Yes, this guy, identity, then row reduces. I can do what? Repl interchange row 1, row 2. This will give me 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 0. Then, um, I have to make this guy zero this is now leading one so row one times negative this and then add it to root this is one two zero one and this is negative two one this is zero negative two times two is negative four add it to that this is negative well, that's done. Now we choose this one to be our next leading one. And uh, well, we can multiply the whole row two by negative sign to make this guy one. And now it's time to deal with this guy. Make that zero. So we multiply the row with the leading one to the, uh, the negative of that, and then add it to row 1. This will give us 1, 0. Uh, here, negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, add to 0, 1. Negative 2 uh, times, negative, uh, times 2 is negative 4, add it to 1 is negative 3. So this is 0, 1, and negative 1, 2. You see, we row reduced it, and we got to the identity matrix. That means that the... Um, the inverse matrix, A inverse, is 2, negative 3, negative 1, 2. And uh, well, what we can do now, the step 3 is the solution, which is x, y, equals to A inverse times B. A inverse here is 2, negative 3, negative 1, 2, times what was B. The B, B is 1, 0. So 1, 0. This is giving us X, Y. The solution, there's a unique solution there. This is 2 times 1 is 2. Negative, and plus negative 3 times 0, which is 0. And this is just matrix multiplication. Negative 1 times 1 plus 2 times 0 is negative. That is the unique solution we find using this method. Well, uh, it is not um, the finding the A inverse is not always part of the step. Uh, it means that if you have A inverse or you find it, someone gives you, you compute it somewhere else, you just do find A inverse times B. That is the uh, the solution of the system. For example, you may uh, have a situation that example solve a system a x equals to um, sorry a x y equals to 2, negative 1. If we know that A inverse is 1, 2, 0, and 3. So in this case, we don't need to find A inverse. A inverse is given. So we know that xy is going to be a inverse times b here a inverse is given just plug in there and then you have a matrix multiplication 
which gives us 2, 1 times 2 plus 2 times negative 1, which gives us 0. And 0 times 2 is 0 plus negative 3. So if someone gives you A inverse, you just go ahead and do uh, find the solution for the system using inverse method. Just final remark is that uh, the inverse method or method of inverses works only for system of linear equations whose coefficient matrix First, it must be a, a square matrix. If it is not a square matrix, you cannot find A inverse, yes? So, first of all, the coefficient matrix is a square matrix. In other words, the number of equations of the system equals to number of the variables. And that's not enough. We have to make sure that the coefficient matrix is invertible. So uh, the coefficient matrix is invertible. This needs to happen. Otherwise, you don't have you cannot use inverse method to solve the system of linear equation. It must be square matrix and it must be invertible. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And if that's the case, you just do A inverse times B. That's it. Well, this is a new method. Basically, as I said, this gives us a new options to solve system of linear equations using matrix theory you find the inverse with whatever method you have or if someone gives you and then multiply it to the right hand side uh, matrix that will give you the unique solution of the system